All right, guys, it's time for us to expand our hay empire. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the shop and we're going to. Oh, oh, I need that. I need that. Um, a square baler that does 200 up to 240 centimeter bales. It's 68 percent. Or no, I'm sorry, 55% off. Oh, man. This would be so nice to have. But problem with getting it now, uh, aside from the fact that we don't, you know, we're about $20,000 and plus shy on it, is that um, we don't have a square bale pickup. That would be so nice to have you guys, but I, eh, I don't think so. I don't think the time's right for that. Um, okay, well, there'll be another opportunity, I'm sure. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's go to here, and we want to go to uh, subsoilers, and we're gonna get this um, four meter ag agrisum. Yeah, subsoiler, and this is the field creator mod version of this, which means it technically also creates a field for us. And um, let's, we're going to lease this. It's only going to cost us 535 bucks, which is pretty reasonable uh, considering what it does. And so, okay, we have that for creating the field. Now, um, let's connect the New Holland to this. But we're going to need to do a little bit of landscaping slash terraforming first before we actually start doing the plowing. So, I don't, are there any lines on this? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, so I, I, I kind of took a look around to decide how I want to do all of this, and uh, let me, me kind of show you the deal here. So we're going to remove this road here altogether. It, it's, I mean, I know there's a bridge there, but we don't really need this road here. We have a road right in, in, into our property right here. Okay, uh, so we have that. Furthermore, this is a hay field or a grass field, and you can drive on it. So if I did need to come through here for some reason, like because of maybe driving a combine with a big wide header on it, <laughs> kind of thing, uh, we still can. It, you know, it, it's the hay field is not a type of field that we can't drive on. So this road's gonna go, and I, I just don't see any point in having it there. Okay, so. Uh, out here, we're just going to plow right to the edge of that road. Um, uh, and same, you know, same thing along here. I think I'm going to keep this road here, but here again, we're going to plow right to the edge of it just to give ourselves a little bit more field. But we'll keep the road itself through here because I think it's pretty useful, you know, to have that road there. Okay. Uh, and none of this will change as far as the road goes, but I will plow this little gravel spot here. All of this is going to get plowed here. We don't need that open space there dividing those two fields. Now over here, I want to keep this road here too because it's very handy for going you know, back and forth between you know this property and that property over there. However, I'm going to move it so that it's follows the tree line a little bit better and honestly this tree is kind of a big pain in the butt the problem with it well not the problem but the thing about this tree is if I cut it down I'm gonna to have to go rent a mulcher to remove the stump but what I'd like is I'd like the road to just follow right along the edge of the brush here so that we can turn all of this into field. It doesn't need to go this way, it can go along here. So, how much does it cost to rent the 
the uh, no, not that. We need forestry equipment. There's also a stump remover that we could maybe do instead, if it's cheaper. Yeah, see, the stump remover is twenty-seven thousand, and the mulcher is only twenty-four thousand. And at the least, that would cost us twelve forty-nine. All right. Um, the other thing, I I've thought about doing. I haven't decided if I'm going to. The mulcher would remove some of this brush too, you know, and we could kind of trim that back a little more. Thought about moving, removing some of these trees as well, just so they're not in the way, you know, when we're trying to do the hay. Particularly, you know, these trees in here. But I don't know. Once we, once we turn the cornfield into hay, it's not going to be that big of a deal, really. And I kind of like the trees there, so. I don't think I'm going to mess with those trees, but I, I think this big elm tree over here has just got to go. It's just smack dab right in the middle of the road. Uh, right where I'd like to run this road. And if we rent the, or rather if we lease the mulcher, we could also cut back some of this brush too. Uh, you know, which could be somewhat helpful as well. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go back to forestry equipment. We're going to lease the the least expensive mulcher for twelve forty nine. Okay, so we have that access to that. Now the other thing is we're gonna have a big ginormous tree that we're gonna cut down that we're gonna have to get out of here. Um but we could use uh we should be able to use the we don't have an a log pickup, do we? We have a forklift, but we don't have a log pickup. Did I lease that the last time I used it? I can't remember. I must have leased that too. Well, you know what? That isn't going to be that much money. Uh, we want to go to front loader tools. And what we want is this thing. I don't want to buy it. So yeah, it's only 153 bucks. Let's lease that too, and that way we have something to get the logs out of there. So I guess if that's the plan, we got to get this tree out of here first before we and, and get some of this brush trim back before we build the road over here, because this road we're just gonna plow. All right. So that being the case. Why don't we? Why don't we cut this tree down on this guy's head, since he's on my property trespassing, without my permission? Oh yeah! By the way, timber. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we didn't do that to him. Okay, so. Now, um, we do have a little bit of wood here that we could sell. I mean, we're not going to make a ton of money off of it, but we might, since we have it, we might as well turn it into a little bit of money, right? Help, if nothing else, to help pay for the uh, the leasing costs. Come on, get on there. So we'll just kind of trim these branches off, and then we're going to have to... This is a pretty good-sized elm tree, man. So we should be able to... I can find the deck on... Uh, yeah, it's probably too far to the side there. We got that one. All right, well, here, let's uh, go ahead and cut this off. And same on this side. Okay. This we should be able to nip right off. Okay, that's done. And then uh, let's cut this.
I do have the Lumberjack mod installed, but I think I have it disabled at the moment because it was causing a, an issue with the other admin tool with the super strength. So yeah, we're just using the the normal in-game in cutting here. All right, so basically the tree branch is right here. So what we're gonna do, let's cut this one off. Nope, get on the log there, man. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to get the rest of this, the uh, rest of these branches out of here. Yeah, that should take care of all that. All right, well, let's get, uh, here, we might as well turn this off because I guess we're not quite ready to use it. I'm just gonna park it right here. All right, let's get the McCormick with the front loader. And we'll also get our flatbed trailer. We're just gonna load these logs on and take them down to the lumber mill because just need to get, just need to get rid of them. Not really looking to make a ton of money off of them so much, but just need to get rid of them. Um, I'm gonna put let's put the forks in the shed I guess that's where I had them before I'm even gonna just plop them right here how's that Oh, I guess I can't, I have to use the, this to get those off. Okay. Now we'll get the log fork on the front and we'll get the mulcher on the back. That'll give us some back end weight. Oh, I guess I have a weight on here already, so I'm gonna have to drop that off. We'll just drop this off right over here. Have to lower it first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go there. Go there. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I not just disconnect that? Or did I accidentally reconnect it? Huh, I must have double tapped the Q key on accident. up there we go oh shoot I can't uh, okay <laughs> I, gotta pick, I gotta pull the trailer over there actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the new Holland for the trailer because it'll help hold it in place because the doggone trailer is gonna drift on us anyway I can't guarantee your safety, sir, if you're going to walk on my property like that. You're trespassing. You realize that, right, dude? Okay, just so you know. Yeah, let's uh, let's put the trailer on the new Holland so it can hold it in place for us. 
Um, it's probably going to want me to yeah, lower that first. That's what I figured. Fair enough. Okay, let's go get the trailer. Hey, don't be messing with my tractor, homie. and destroy it. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh well, whatever. I was thinking I I could do it without messing it up, but I was very wrong about that, wasn't I? You know what? Let's just leave this right here. Okay. Do I need to do this? Alright, why? Alright, my clamp controls are not working on my side panel. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, it's the same thing I'm always missing. Doggone it. That. <laughs> there we go. Can't take me anywhere, you guys. Absolutely can't take me anywhere. I've already told you that. I've warned you. Can't take me anywhere. Okay. okay. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so, you know what might actually work better is if we go up and then try and get these things kind of from the top. Yeah, we got the big one, sort of, kind of. I don't know if it's going to stay on there or not. Okay, let's grab it again. please. There we go. It's going the wrong way with it, actually. All right. Since we don't have any side uh, rails on this trailer, I'm going to strap stuff so it stays on there. Now, some of these logs I actually should be able to just lift by hand even without super strength. So let's go back into here and turn her super strength off. So this, let's get rid of that. This little guy we should be able to pick up, no problem. And maybe this one, can we pick this one up? Yeah, we can, all right, cool. These uh, branches are really hard to work with because they're not straight, you know, they're all... crooked and stuff. Alright. Probably can't pick this one up. Nope, didn't think so. Okay. What about this one? Yep. It's short enough. You gonna stay on there? What about you? Yep. That makes it easier. I am looking forward to the new uh, 
map that's going to come out with the Platinum update in November. I think I might have mentioned that to you guys in the last episode or two. All right, I think everything else here, we're going to have to pick up with the front loader because they're going to be a bit heavy for us. Let's get that trimmed. Okay. Nope. Try it again. You have to kind of pinch it and also work the forks underneath it at the same time. I've had a little bit of practice doing this on the multiplayer server. Not that I'm a pro by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm a little bit better than the, I, I was the last time you guys saw me do any kind of logging on this series. All right, let's um, restrap that. So, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. That's going to cause all kinds of problems that we don't want. Uh, all right, hold on, hold on. Here, unstrap everybody, please. Whew, okay. Oh, are you kidding me, really? Stupid game. <clears throat> all right, well, let's get the other ones, and then we'll figure out how to get that one, I guess. I might be able to pick this up. Can I? Nope, it's just a little too heavy. That's what I figured. Okay. One thing I will tell you about logging in this game is the conifer trees, the pine and the spruce are way easier to log than these things are. Oak trees worth the most amount of money, but it's such a pain in the butt to do because you have to, you know, the branches are so crooked and everything on it that you, uh, I still find the conifer trees to be a, a much better. All right, here, let's strap all of this down. And we'll pick this last one up here on this side. And then we got to get that one on the other side that we tossed over. Okay, can we drop this on top of here without it rolling off? That is the question. Look at that. Oh, no. Don't roll off. <laughs> okay. Now, um, we got this one over here that we kind of screwed up. So let's pull the McCormick this way. And hop into the New Holland. And I think what we'll do is just pull it around like that. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to do um I'd like to do a logging focused uh, I don't know if series or maybe live stream or something. I don't know. Maybe especially when that new map comes out. We really need to kind of put the thick end of this log over here, don't we? Uh, I will, you know, just so you guys know, too, in case you were wondering, I, I am planning on uh, live streaming farming sim at some point in the future. 
main reason I haven't done it up to this point is because I just, well, I don't have a lot of time to live stream, first of all, so there is that. And usually when I do live stream, it's, you know, with other people that's, you know, it's scheduled, so I don't want to mess, you know, with that because it involves other people and their schedule and stuff. But also, you know, I wanted, I wanted to do this first Greenhorn series and really, you know, get good at the game or at least, you know, competent at the game, I suppose, before I started live streaming. And, um, you know, I know some of you probably don't care about that and might even like to see me try and figure things out, but it's kind of more of just the way I, I like to do it. But all that to say, you know, you can expect to see me live doing some live streaming of this game in the future. Uh, when? Couldn't, couldn't say exactly for sure when, but it should happen. All right, so here's the thing. We're going to... I know that's kind of sticking down there, but I think we're just going to drag it along and call it good. Hopefully it'll stay on there okay. Um, I do have, you know, the multiplayer server where uh, we're on the Erlengrot map, and I am doing some logging, but the two guys that play with me on that server are not, have, you know, haven't really been around very much lately for real-life reasons, which is completely understandable. So I'm not on that server very often. Oh, look at the our trailer just kind of deciding to go whatever direction it wants to go. <laughs> uh, who's got the best prices on wood, by the way? So it's not like I'm on there a lot, you know. But, uh, yeah, at some point in the future, we will do some some logging as, you know, one of our main things that we're, we're going to do. That's not to say we won't do any farming at all, but it'll be more logging focused. And, um, you know, and do some live streaming too, you know, but I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen, but I do plan on that at some point. All right. Anyway, let's see. South Valley Biomass Energy is given the most money, but you know what? Honestly, the carpentry station is the closest and easiest to get to. And it's not going to, this amount of wood we have is not going to matter anyways. Let's, oh, don't drive over the corn. Let's just take it and get rid of it. That's all I care about right now. Like I said, I'm going to leave these other trees in place for now. I don't think they're going to be a major issue. <laughs> Our poor trailer. Um, once we can open up these, you know, fields and make the whole thing hay. If they do turn out to be a pain in the butt, I can always remove them later. Okay. So we're just going to pretend... Good Lord, what's going on here? gonna pretend that this is not happening <laughs> <And we're> just <coughs> pulling our trailer along and we have one log that's just kind of dragging and <laughs> oh man oh boy this game I tell you what I love it so much it's so fun <laughs> yeah let's let's just get to the carpentry the carpentry shop and get the Get rid of this stuff. Here, we'll go into first person and then we'll pretend like nothing's happening. <laughs> oh man. Never a dull moment. Okay. There's that poor card that we. <laughs> We scratched really bad the last time we came through here. Okay. Just want to get this... far enough over to register on the thingy so we can s just sell it. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. Uh, here, let's uh, uh, undo the straps. I'm going to use the cheaty method because I'm done messing with this wood, man. Let's just get rid of it. What? No, not that. 
Hey, we made $554 for our trouble. How about that, huh? Okay. Uh, so let's get back, and we're going to run the mulcher. We'll, we'll remove the stump from that big elm that we cut down, and also I want to remove a little bit of the brush, too. And then we'll cut ourselves a new road uh, right along the edge there before we get started plowing. That is the plan. Okay, let's get rid of this stump. And I want to get rid of this brush here that's really sticking out. This one. It's not quite cutting it because of, of the angle. What happens if we do this. Does that do anything? Huh. Okay. What if we try it from here? There we go. Okay. And then I want to get rid of these two bushes here as well. Maybe this one too. Let's push these back a, just a smidge more, too. That bush doesn't want to go. Okay. I think that's probably okay. Let's let's hang on to the mulcher uh, for now, though, just in case I want it for something else. So we'll just park it right over here for now.
Hey, we're getting more honey. Nice. Okay. So, now it's time to reroute the road. I think we said we're going to leave that road the way it is. I'm going to stand right about here, and let's also save, just in case I screw something up big time. All right, so let's see. How do we want to do this? I want... we got to go to landscaping, and... Gravel and grass cost the same, well, they all cost two bucks, basically, per squirt or whatever. So the idea is to run the road along, um, just the, along the edge here. Did we get rid of that tree? You know what? I think I think I want to get rid of that tree. This one right here. I think it's going to cause us trouble. Trying to get these little branches here. There they go. Whoops. to switch to the front loader so I can lift that thing up. The bees are all riled up from all the noise. Okay. That looks... That's, that's a little bit better. All right. Back to this. So, um... Actually, hold on. Let's do another save. So I don't have to redo all of that again in case I screw something up. All right. So what we want to do is go to landscaping, and we want gravel. And we want to increase this. And I think I want the road to start to kind of come through here. And just follow along here, down to there. Okay. For whatever reason, the gravel texture that they give us to work with doesn't match what comes uh, with the map directly. So I've always found that to be a little odd. Okay, let's do make this a little wider. Great demand an animal dealer. Okay, that's nice to know. Uh, 
All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get grass and we're going to shrink this down one thingy and just kind of put the that there like so. Maybe we should do this a little bit larger because it's Kind of looking weird. All right, and then we want to go to plants and just grass here and kind of do this like so. All right, now let's go back to painting, back to this, and just kind of do a little bit of touch up work here because that kind of wasn't real straight, but yeah, it kind of did like a little thingamadoodle here. What if we change this to a square? Okay, and let's go back to this. Oh, that just screwed it all up again, didn't it? Uh, all right, back to this. I guess, I don't know, man. It's, it's like a weird angle for it. Doesn't quite know what to do with this. to kind of mess with it a little bit here to get it to do what I want it to do. All right, now what if we go back to plants and just kind of do a couple of squirts here and there. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect either, but we want it to look natural, as natural as possible. Wait, what? It's this spot right here that's giving me grief. Yes, this is okay. Yeah, let's just let's just run with that. I'll I'll use the plow to try and cut that a little more finely, for lack of a better way of describing it. Um, but what we might do is widen this up just a little bit here. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, I think that that'll work. And all this original road we're going to we're going to plow under. Um can we put a little dirt in there just to kind of make that look like the crick's still running through there? Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Almost kind of like to straighten this road out too, but I, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, this will all be plowed, and I think that's good. I don't think we need to do anything else. This is all going to be completely plowed. Uh, we already talked about that earlier. Alrighty, so yeah, there we go. 
it is time now for us to expand the fields. Now, I'm going to plow around the corn, but I'm not going to plow the corn itself under, of course. Um, kind of like what we did with the cotton field before I ultimately decided to get rid of the cotton field. Uh, so that's the idea. However, my friends, we're out of time in this episode. And so what I'm probably going to do is start the next episode with a time lapse of the plowing. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, to start that next episode, because we just don't have enough time to do it in this one. So that is the plan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.